Hey guys, are you tired of laggy performance and bloated apps slowing down your Android phone? What if you could turn that same phone into a true gaming beast with smooth graphics, faster performance and zero lag? Yes, in this video, I'll show you step by step how to install a gaming ROM on any Android phone without a PC or TWRP. And today we're running Matrix OS on Android 14. It's a top gaming ROM that boosts frame rates, cuts down on heat and optimizes for almost all the games. Plus, it comes with a bunch of customization settings to take your Android experience to the next level. And the best part, it runs super smooth. Matrix OS is awesome for gaming. It's based on Android 14 with tweaks for better battery life during long sessions and smoother gameplay. No unnecessary apps, no clutter, just pure speed. We'll be using the GSI version of Matrix Gaming ROM, which works on almost any Android phone. But before we start, make sure your device bootloader is unlocked. If it's still locked, don't worry. I already have a video on how to unlock the bootloader, so check that out first. Also, before flashing the ROM, make sure to check the description for the disclaimer. Flashing a custom ROM is safe if you follow the steps carefully, but it does come with risks. So please read that first. Alright, now let's get started. For this video, I'm using a Poco F4 running Android 14 with HyperOS. And yes, we're about to replace all of that with a powerful gaming custom ROM. Now let me quickly show you if my device is rooted or not. As you can see, my phone is not rooted and that's totally fine because installing a custom ROM does not require root access. Next, let's download the gaming ROM. First, install the Treble Info app from the Play Store and open it. This app helps you check which ROMs are supported on your device. Inside the app, tap on Browse Images. Here, scroll down to the section for unofficial Android 14 and select Matrix OS GSI. Now, you'll also notice there are some Android 14 and 15 ROMs available, but I don't recommend them yet because they aren't fully optimized. Matrix OS, based on Android 14, is much more stable for gaming. Now make sure you download the ROM with BGS in its name. That means Google Apps are already included, so you don't have to flash them separately. Now I'll just cancel the download here since I already have the same ROM file saved on my phone. So yes, here we have the Matrix OS ROM file ready to go. But there's one more thing we need, the stock firmware of your phone. From that, we'll grab the VB meta file needed for flashing. Just Google your phone's build number and download the matching firmware as per your device. The next step is to enable developer options on the phone. So open the settings and scroll down to about phone. Here, tap on build number or HyperOS version on Redmi or Poco phones seven times until you see developer options is enabled. Once done, go back and open developer options. Here, as you can see, my bootloader is already unlocked. Make sure yours is unlocked too. Next, scroll down and enable USB debugging. This step is essential for flashing the gaming custom ROM. It's time to install the ROM. I'm going to use my Pixel 6a as the host phone, but you can use any Android phone for this role. First, download these apps from the description links. Z Archiver to extract the ROM file and Bugjigger to flash the custom ROM. Now make sure to move both the files to the Android phone you'll be flashing from. So here I have my custom ROM file and the VB meta file. Now tap on the ROM file and extract it using Z Archiver. Once the extraction is complete, you'll see the Matrix OS image file. Alright, the file is now extracted. You can delete the original zip file to keep things clean. Let's open the Bugjigger app to start installing the gaming ROM. You'll also need an OTG cable to connect the two phones. This lets the host phone send commands to the target, just like a PC would. As soon as you connect the phones, you'll see a USB debugging permission pop up on your main device. Just tap allow to grant access. And there we go. My phone is now connected in Bugjigger. As you can see, it shows 
Munch, which is the code name for this Poco phone. Now tap on Reboot Bootloader button and your device will restart and boot into bootloader mode. Let's wait a moment until it loads. Alright, the phone is now in fast boot mode. Next, click on this button to open the console. To confirm that the device is detected, type the command fast boot devices. And yes, if you see a serial number, that means your device is successfully connected. First, run this command to check your current active slot. Here it shows A, which means the phone is currently running on slot A. If it showed B, that would mean the phone is running on slot B instead. Next, run this to check if your device supports two slots or a single slot. As you can see, it shows slot count 2. That means this device uses A slash B slots, which is important for flashing the ROM correctly. Now, if the previous commands gave you a get var variable not found error, that simply means your device is single slot. Nothing to worry about. Just keep that in mind. Next, it's time to boot into Fastboot D mode. But not all devices support Fastboot D. So after running the command, if your phone just reboots back into the system, it means your device doesn't support Fastboot D. In that case, you can continue flashing everything in normal Fastboot mode. Since my device supports Fastboot D, it booted straight into it automatically. After entering Fastboot D, the phone may disconnect. So make sure to connect it again in Bugjigger. Next, erase the system partition. So run this command, fastboot erase system. If that gives you an error, then use this command instead, fastboot delete logical partition product underscore and your current slot. For example, my current slot is A, so I use product underscore A. If your slot is B, then use product underscore B instead. Once that's done, it's time to flash the gaming ROM. So run this command, Fastboot Flash System and select the Extracted Matrix OS ROM image file. Let me quickly select it here. Keep in mind, the ROM file is large, so it may take some time to load. Just be patient and don't disconnect your device. Once it's selected, simply run this to install Gaming ROM. And there we go, the flashing has started. Since my current slot is B, the ROM is being installed directly into slot B. The installation may take around 5 to 6 minutes, so just wait patiently and don't disconnect anything. Alright, the ROM has been fully flashed and as you can see, it shows finished. Now the next step is to run this command, fastboot-w. This will format all the data on your device, giving you a clean installation of the gaming ROM. In my case, this command gave me an error. If the same happens to you, don't worry. Instead, just run these two commands one after the other. Fastboot erase user data and then fastboot erase metadata. This basically does the same thing. It wipes the data and prepares your phone for a clean boot into Matrix OS. Now, if you are in fastboot D mode, run this command to boot into formal fastboot mode. And now it's time to flash the VB meta file with verification disabled. This step makes sure your phone won't run into verification errors when booting the custom ROM. Once VB meta is flashed, go ahead and reboot your device by fast boot reboot. Your phone will now restart and the first boot might take a little longer than usual. Totally normal. Let me fast forward that for you. And yes, the device has successfully booted into Matrix OS. Let me quickly set it up. And there we go, we are now booted into Matrix OS custom ROM. Now let's jump into settings just to confirm everything. And yes, as you can see, we're now running Android 14 with Matrix OS, the best custom ROM for gaming for any Android phone user. But since this is a GSI build, features like calling and 5G don't work by default. So please check out my other video starting at 826. I've linked it in the description. That video will guide you on how to fix those issues. And that's it. We've successfully installed a gaming custom ROM on our phone without using a PC, without TWRP and even without root. Now you can enjoy a clean, fast and bloat-free Android experience.
step by step guide helped you don't forget to hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel it really helps a lot thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one